Well, I was gonna go fishing today, but uh, if you can't tell, it is extremely, extremely windy out here today. Extremely windy. I'm gonna go behind my truck so you guys can actually hear me. Well, I was gonna go ice fishing. As you can tell, I'm out on a lake right now, and it's a Saturday, and this is one of the busier lakes in the area. If you guys didn't know, I'm in Nebraska. I flew in from Texas yesterday. I went snow goose hunting all day, and it absolutely sucked. And so I was like, all right, tomorrow, let's go fishing. It's 60 degrees right now incredible yesterday was like 35 now it is 60 and there's not a soul out here so i was thinking to myself why is there no one out here and then i got here and i walked up and i realized the ice is not thick enough this is like the shadiest ice i've ever seen it's like all different colors there's parts that's open there's parts that's not and you know i'm not one to really care i mean all the fall through the ice it'll get views that's all i really care about anyway but i'm just not feeling it if you guys have not seen the video from last year Roll the clip. Why? Yeah, I don't want to do that again. That one, I ruined a lot of things. GoPros, phones, uh, Vexars, fishing rods got lost. Not a fun time. So instead of doing that, I, I, went, I mean, I pulled up here and I'm like, what do I have in my truck? What can I make a video of? You know, I'm here. I'm already out here, ready to ready to grind, ready to make a video for you guys. What can I do? And I remembered I have my Guggen backpack. And uh, why not do? a kind of like a unboxing but kind of like a loadout video basically what's inside my pond fishing tackle box my tackle bag like the entire bag itself not just like one little tackle box the entire bag what's in it and and I figured maybe you guys will enjoy this maybe you guys think this is the stupidest thing ever but uh, I don't know if I was you guys I thought it'd be kind of interesting to to see what I carry with me if I'm gonna go to a pond no matter where it is in the country this is the stuff that I carry but before that do you want to win a boat Oh, you heard it right, folks. Do you want to win a bass fishing boat? And in fact, two, two bass fishing boats. You, you can't win two, but you have two opportunities. I'll, I'll tell you more in a second. Boom, right there. Look at that, look at that shirt. That's the back of it. It's kind of, kind of hard to hold a shirt up right now. Um, you might, might be wondering, what does this shirt have to do with you guys winning a boat? That is this month's shirt for the T-shirt of the month uh, thing that me and the entire Guggen squad does. That's the next one. If you guys haven't seen the video already, I will link it down below. This video might actually get published before that video gets up, but it's going to be up. So go to the Guggen squad YouTube page and you'll see what I'm talking about. And we gave away a bass boat. We gave away a freaking bass boat. Basically one of the members of the pattern subscription service T-shirt shirt that we have uh, we we basically took everybody that was entered into it and we selected one guy and he was a 17 year old kid from Missouri and he, he won a bass boat so but this year we're gonna make it even bigger we're gonna give away two boats this year and all you got to do is sign up I will leave the link down below and for every shirt that you do get then that's one entry so if you sign up for the entire year you get 12 entries to win to win a boat and we're giving away two of them so there's double the opportunity this year but I had to tell you guys that I had to tell you guys that because that's very important we love giving back to you guys you guys that support us we love to support you and hopefully maybe when you guys watching we'll win a boat so that's that uh, let's get into the uh, tackle bag unboxing slash what's in my backpack video well folks as you can tell uh, I am not at the lake anymore you know I tried to film this video while I was out there the wind was so bad there was no way for me to get away from it besides hiding behind my truck and you guys saw there was a shadow and I want to make sure that you guys actually see the important stuff that's in here and I'm in my garage it's not really the best place but it's the only place I can think of that is out of the wind I got good light coming in there's the Sun the Sun is shining that's helping me and uh, and something different not my normal lure backdrop you guys get a blank gray wall it's a lot more entertaining than the lure backdrop and uh, and so yeah we're gonna get into this I, I don't want to make this too long I hopefully that intro wasn't wasn't too long and too boring but you guys you can win a boat you can win a boat. You, like I said, our last winner, 17 year old kid from Missouri. Okay, keep that in mind. So this guy right here, you guys know this is a Guggen Squad backpack. You can get it down below, GuggenSquad.com. Comes with two free tackle boxes and free shipping, uh, which is which is a, a great value. You know, the tackle boxes themselves retail for like 15 bucks and pops us $30 there plus free shipping. You guys can do the math. I dropped out of college. It's a good deal. So we're gonna go through this. This box, this bag is an absolute mess. I have not touched this since like fall fishing so i have no idea what's in this but you guys are about to find out i'm gonna go zipper by pocket zipper and show you exactly how i lay this guy out and uh, and try to make it quick and efficient and maybe you guys can learn something as far as what types of lures i take to ponds when i have no idea you know what's gonna work most of the times when i go pond fishing it's a pond that i haven't been to pond hopping stuff like that 
And uh, so these are kind of my go-to baits for, uh, for, for when I go fishing. So we'll start with, uh, where's the zipper on this guy? We'll start with this little outside here, there. Yep, see, that's kind of what I figured it looked like, an absolute tornado of a mess. Um, minus these random baits, because these probably don't mean a whole lot. Um, what I do keep in here, we got some nice... Some nice pliers. That's all you have. These are necessity. That's a necessity. Okay, you have to have them. see here. Then this guy, a little marker. You guys might not know what this is. It is a garlic marker that uh, that dyes your your lure chartreuse. So instead of carrying around those bottles of like the dip and stuff, because uh, that stuff can explode and ruin a lot of things, this pen will do the exact the exact same trick. So I, I carry that around. I always, not always, very often I I dip like the tails of of like pinchers, like 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 this, like this guy for example, right here. If I was gonna throw this guy, maybe. If I was gonna throw this guy, these little bottom pinchers like that, I'd probably mark those guys up. So there's that. Let's go in this this pouch here, the old wacky rig tool with the uh, the the rings on it. We got some scissors. You never know when uh, you're gonna have to some cut some line or something. Got a hook file. This thing doesn't work the greatest, but it, it'll sharpen your hook to some to some extent. So I think that's that. We got some glue. Some soft bait glue, basically. Your bait gets torn. You got that. Uh, I think I got a tape measure in this little pocket. Now this this pocket is perfect for it. Oh, just kidding. No, not tape measure. Line, line, fishing line. It's a it's a little pocket. So I carry 12 pound test. That's an all around. You can use 12 pound for pretty much anything. So there's that. I got some little cutters. Cut some cut some braid. Got some more super glue. This is like actual super glue. So this stuff will like glue your fingers together. So that's that's always handy. Sometimes you might need that. The rest of this stuff, this is all just miscellaneous baits, little little jig heads that I've got in here. Nothing like too crazy. I've got a ring filled with uh, some some swim jigs. That's just again just a bunch of random stuff. But as far as like what you guys need to know, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I've got like Ziplocs filled with jigs and chatter baits, and but these are just miscellaneous baits. This is not the important stuff to you. I'm more going after like the tool side of things. What what little tools and whatnot I'm going to be carrying with me. So yeah, that's that. Now we're gonna undo this guy what's in here oh absolutely freaking nothing so there's nothing in here but this is good a little pocket right here you can put this is like what i usually put my spinner baits in um like chatter baits that i know i'm gonna end up using because you guys know me and chatter baits we, we we always throw them so this is kind of like a quick easy access nothing's in here yet like i said these are the new bags i haven't played with these too much right in here so when i was saying it comes with two of these these are waterproof guggen tackle boxes very high quality stuff Comes with two of them for free. I have no lures in these. These are these are my old tackle boxes. These are actually junk. These are a lot better. I haven't even had the time to switch anything over. I haven't been fishing. If you guys haven't seen, I haven't made a bass fishing video since Nam. So uh, I need to get these switched over. But these are the waterproof boxes that come with it. In case you were wondering. So we got this. Is what I carry. I normally carry two to three tackle boxes in this. It'll fit three. Sometimes I carry two. Sometimes I carry one. Um, but I always carry at least one. Obviously, I gotta have some bait. So this is the first one. Actually, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save that one. That's that's the one that's a little bit less important than this guy. This guy right here. I've been over this one for you. This is right there. That's my day box. If you guys don't know what day box is, basically, if I'm just gonna go pond fishing, I don't wanna carry this whole backpack. I'll just take this, and this will pretty much have everything in it. So I already. I do have a video on this. The baits do change every day, but I do have some core items. So. I will quickly kind of walk you guys through what I've got going on in here. I'm not going to take every single lure out, but you, you get the, you get the gist of it. You get the idea. So up here, this is where I keep my top waters. We got the, the ploppers, the uh, the spooks, the walking baits, the poppers, the stuff like that. More more poppers like that. These guys are always always killer. More more whopper ploppers. And then you guys know me and frogs. You got to have some frogs. So I got I got plenty of frogs in this one. Frog here, frog here. Uh, some chatter baits right there. Some nice some nice chatter baits. So. I guess I want to give you guys some tips. So for chatterbaits, black and blue, green, pumpkin, and white, and or white and chartreuse. Those are the three core colors that you pretty much need. You pretty much don't need anything else. So I just showed you black and blue. I've got whites one, white ones in here. I've got bluegill colored ones like green pumpkin in here. That's pretty much that. Then I've got some square bills that hide in here. I've got some, some bluegill colored ones. They look about like that. This guy right here, this is one of my all-time favorite colors. Like I said, everything is such a mess right now. This is not a very organized video, but I figured you guys might find it useful. White, or not white, jeez, it's been a long day. Chartreuse black back, that's really good for muddy water. If you've got muddy water, that's the bait you want. And then, for like a good all around, so the clear water, I usually throw like a sunfish or a bluegill. And then this guy, that's a good all around too as well. One of my favorite pond, my favorite pond fishing colors, like a sexy shad looking color. Those are really good, so I carry square bills. I don't carry a ton of lipless crankbaits because personally, I don't throw a whole lot of those in ponds. Doesn't mean they don't work. 
That's just, it's not something, if I'm going to be throwing a lipless in a pond, I'm going to be throwing a chatter bait. That's just me. That's just, that's just how it is. It's not like those are the same baits, but normally you're ripping them out of grass. And so, and so that's that. So here, this is a hodgepodge of different baits. We have Nico rigged worms that are completely trashed. Those, uh, yeah, that, that's not usable. I've got big old creature baits for, for dragging on the bottom. If I'm in a little bit deeper pond. Um, some more Nico rig and stuff. You guys don't know what a Nico rig is. I've got a few videos on something like this, but that right there, that right there catches tons and tons and tons of fish. So that's that. Uh, you guys know, of course, we got the Sankos. This is all stuff that I've used and then put in here. It's not stuff that I like actually carry in here. Um, but for the most part, that's that's pretty much it. And then I will carry some of these guys in here as well. Little wobble heads. Just, you know, if I'm fishing a pond and it's got rocks, wobble heads are pretty good. Um, other than that, we got shatter baits. And that's pretty much it for those. So that's all these compartments right here. This is where I keep my hooks. Uh, I usually I usually keep three and four out hooks. Those are my go-to. I don't use anything smaller than that for the most part or too much bigger. And then what I will use is I'll put flipping hooks in there, like heavy-duty flipping hooks. Then I'll put some round bend hooks and then some EWGs. Those are pretty much the only three hooks that I need. Sometimes I'll need like a drop shot or a wacky rig hook and I'll just keep a couple of those laying around. But for the most part, Texas rig fishing, that, that'll pretty much get you where you need to go. More frogs. You guys know me and frogs. We, we love each other. Um, so we got, got, got your, your popping frogs. That's pretty much my favorite. Um, and then in here we have jigs. So I usually go with three colors of jigs. I go with the green pumpkin, the black and blue, and then like a crawfish. So something like this, like maybe a PB and J, something more brown, stuff like that. But I've got the black and blues. I've got the greens. I've got a whole bunch of mixtures of stuff in here. Again, this is just like my go-to box of stuff. And then under all this is tungsten all sorts of different weights from teeny little tiny all the way up to like one ounce flipping weights uh and then i've got some bobber stops here as well i'm trying not to make this video too boring for you guys uh if you don't like this video let me know but if you do like it make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment down below we would really appreciate it up here is where i keep my spinner baits and buzz baits so i've got black for for buzz baits i do black and then white and chartreuse those are my two go-to colors of buzz baits and then for spinner baits i usually do like white white and chartreuse uh sexy shad colors um, I don't really know why I throw a lot of shad colors. I don't fish ponds with a lot of shad, but for some reason they don't they don't seem to mind. So, and this guy right here, this is kind of like my secondary box. So like if I know I'm going to a lake and I have no idea what's going to happen, I have no idea what baits. This has a lot of duplicates of what I just showed you, but then also has some like some new baits that I didn't already have in the other box. Like I said, this this tackle bag will carry three. Of this you can really take a ton of tackle to the ponds. I, uh, my other, my third box basically I have in Texas right now. So my lures are everywhere, but this is what I've got for today. So in here, this is a lot of top water stuff. So if I know I'm going out early in the morning, I'm going to make sure I bring this box because this is filled with all sorts of chug bugs, all sorts of poppers, more than that last one. We got walking baits, more poppers, stuff like that. There's a lot more top water in this box. So when I know I'm going to be fishing top, water, I'm going there in the morning. I usually will snag this guy here. This guy right here, we've got some different types of crankbaits. We've got a little bit deeper ones. Now, pond fishing, you're probably not going to throw a ton of these guys, so I only keep like one, usually my favorite color, a sexy shad or something. Um, but then the rest of it's going to be those square bills. Again, the bluegills, I have some red ones in here. I've got some white and chartreuse ones. Square bills are fantastic pond fishing baits. I love square bills so much. And then for those of you guys that were maybe wondering where, where my lipless cranks are, right here, all my lipless crankbaits, they're right there. Reds work amazing in the spring. I don't know what it is about it, but it works absolutely fantastic. So you got reds, and then my next go-to is like a sexy shad, like a, uh, yep, you guys are just gonna get them all right there. You guys can take, take, a, take a gander at that. Of uh, that, That's all my colors of lipless crankbaits. And the only one that's in there that I'm kind of missing is a like, a like a blue back, a chrome blue back. This is really terrible setup here. If you didn't know, I'm on, on top of the grill from the ice fishing video. That's, that's what I'm on right now. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna, yep, okay. Well, we're just gonna set all these guys here. Anyways, uh, and then I got some spinner baits that are mixed in here, a bunch of random stuff. I've got a bunch of drop shot weights in here. So if I know I'm gonna be drop shotting, which I hardly ever do, I'll make sure to grab this box. So this is, again, this is like my secondary box. This is like the box of, I'm probably not gonna need 37 top water lures when I go pond fishing, so I don't bring that. Probably not gonna need drop shots, so I don't bring that. Probably not gonna use lipless crankbait, so I don't bring that. But in case I do, I've got it. So those are those guys. And then in here, you know, extra buzz baits. I actually do have a one of those like ribbit toad things. Again, not something I normally throw, but it's here in case I need it. Um, more jigs, um, some more finesse jigs, some different colors. Again, it's a lot of duplicates. So that's pretty much that. Again, more top waters, just basic stuff. I know this is not groundbreaking material. You guys are probably not getting any tips from this, but I'm doing my best, okay? 
Uh, if you guys have any questions on this, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to each and every one of you. Now, now for something that maybe you guys have been waiting for is you're probably wondering, Flair, where the heck's all your soft plastics? This is where, this is where stuff gets interesting, folks. You won't believe how many soft plastics you can fit inside of this box, this is, or this bag, this Guggen bag. I mean, I can't go through all these. This is, I mean, this isn't even full either. I mean, this, this holds so many soft plastics. Yes, it's heavy, but like when you go pond fishing, you have no idea what you're gonna need. So for, I'm just gonna try to go through these as quickly as I can and show you what my go-to soft plastics are when I don't really know what's gonna be going on. So we got stuff like this. These are like some beavers, some flipping baits. And again, for colors, green pumpkin and black and blue. Those, that's the trend you guys are gonna see in here. Those are pretty much the only colors I use. We got some nice swim baits. These are what I use for chatterbait trailers. Those are black and blue. We've got some jig trailers. Those are green pumpkin, just some craws. These guys here, there's only one in there, but it's a, it's a Ned Rig. You guys know what the, the finesse Ned Rig is. That's, that's what I use. That's, those are key. In pond fishing, those are key. Um, some more swim baits, some more flipping baits. So again, that first flipping bait that I showed you was green pumpkin. This one's black and blue. So I give you, give you one of each. When you're going fishing, bring a black and blue and a green pumpkin, you'll be good to go. We got these guys. These are uh, some like little biffle bug looking thingies. Uh, this is what I use on those wobble heads a lot. So if I am gonna use those wobble heads, I have like one or two in that. That's usually my go-to. And uh, brush hogs, those little, little brush hogs in there, green pumpkin, those are fantastic baits. Uh, more beavers, black and blue beavers. You guys are gonna see a ton of duplicates in here, but I usually just carry a lot of what I'm gonna use. Uh, green pumpkin finesse worms right there you can't beat a trick worm you, you really just you can't beat it that's just that's a staple green pumpkin that's all you that's all you're gonna need then i use these guys for nico rigs these are magnum trick worms so they're a little bit thicker black and blue so if it, the water's dirty i use a bigger bait like the magnum and a black and blue june bug color it's actually it's not yeah it's not black and blue it's june bug um those are for nico rigging i got some more brush hogs watermelon is a great color as well uh these guys are uh mag fatty z's just, again, some worms. You guys will notice it's just worms, flipping baits, and a little bit of swim baits. Um, that's pretty much it. Again, some more more worms, more worms. You can't, you can't have enough worms. Uh, some more flipping baits, beavers. These guys, a little menace. So these are a little bit more finesse. So if the water's colder, I'll use something like this. Uh, more of those little bugs, the biffle bug things. Got some of those guys. Some more beavers. This is a green pumpkin red flake. Stankos, you guys know I can't go without the stanko. So these guys, this is watermelon red, and then my other color that I use is black and blue. So those are pretty much the only two colors of stankos that I use. Those two colors will catch fish. If the water's dirty, black and blue. If the water's cleaner, then you go with the watermelon red flake. More, more beavers, more flipping baits, more Ned Rig stuff. Hopefully this isn't getting too boring. Beavers, some black and blue beavers. I mean, you guys can see how much, how many baits are fitting, and this is not full. This is like probably halfway full. Another, some another, more mag trick worms uh, and green pumpkin. We got some more swim baits. These are green pumpkin swim baits. So this is what I'll use in the bluegill swim jigs and in the bluegill chatter baits. Those are my two go-tos for that swim bait trailer. It's like a, it's a smaller, I don't know, like four, four inch swim bait or something like that. More stankos, more bugs, more, more worms more brush hogs, more worms, more worms, more, more beavers, more flipping baits, and then Sanko, Sanko, more worms. Now you guys might be thinking this is overkill flare. You don't, you only need like one pack of, of worms to go, to go pond fit. You, this is right. But you guys realize this is the bag that I take all over the country and I need to make sure I have everything that I need. And when they're eating the Sanko, you got to have seven packages of them. So more worms, more swim baits. You guys pretty much get the point. More swim baits, more swim baits. There's nothing, I mean, I've got, look at it, I got a whole, you guys didn't even know that was in there. This is a whole bag of swim baits. I mean, I've got, I've got bulk packs of, uh, these are craws, a whole bulk thing. Like, you can carry a ton of tackle in these things. So, that's pretty much it. That's what's inside my pond fishing backpack. I don't know if you guys enjoyed this, like I said. If you do, make sure you let me know in the comments and make sure you hit that like button. If this video gets a lot of likes, then I know that you guys will uh, will want some more and I can make some more more videos on, on what's in my bag. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna go, like I said, this, that's not even it. I mean, there's we, there's plenty of, there's plenty of stuff in here, but it's all the same stuff. You got your brush hogs, you got your beavers, you got your swim baits, you got your trick worms, you got your Sankos, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you need. It, it, bass fishing is it, fairly simple. That doesn't mean that these are the only baits that catch fish. It just means with all this, you can probably catch some fish. That's, that's what I want you guys to take from this video. If you guys are watching, maybe you're new to bass fishing, maybe you're not an expert on bass fishing, 
Go buy one of each of, not not this, all this, but like the, the trick worms, the Sankos, the swim baits, the beavers, uh, the craws, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have any, well, I guess I do have some craws. I have the bulk pack. You want me to have a little bit more craws than that. I think all my craws are in Texas. I took those there. But go buy a few of what you just saw, the hard baits. Take some notes. Grab some square bills in the colors I suggested. You definitely need some chatter baits. Grab a buzz bait or two. Grab a popper and a spook. And you, and a frog, don't forget the frog, you go catch some fish. So that's all I've got. Maybe my next video should be a rod and reel arsenal. What do you guys think about that? I haven't done one of those in a few years. I think two, three, I think three, last, last time I did was 2015. So haven't done that in a few years. If you guys want to see a rod and reel arsenal, let me know in the comment section down below. Remember, go sign up to get the t-shirts, guys. You win a boat. We're giving away two of them. You have double the opportunity you did last year. I will leave it at the top of the description. All you got to do is click it, sign up, and for each shirt you get, every single month you get entered one more time. So if you get 10 shirts, you get entered 10 times. That's how it works. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.